Virtual DJ 2020 has a lot of custom settings, so many that some have been hidden or put behind stealthy dropdowns. Here are just a few of those that you can find on the default Pro and Performance skins. Let's start at the top. Layout options for the default skins. First part of the dropdown, you get to choose Starter, Essentials, Pro, or Performance layouts. Remember today we are only looking at dropdowns in the Pro or Performance layouts. Next in the dropdown, you get to choose Color Schemes. Then you have Wave Display options, Jog Display options, Beat Counter options, and your choice of two or four decks. Now down in the mixer area, you have the filter effects. Next to the filter knob, Virtual DJ lets you choose what that knob does. You have several stock effects you can choose from. You can add any audio effect from Virtual DJ's add-ons area. And because Virtual DJ lets you drag and drop pretty much any VST, that knob can do so much more than just filter high and low tones. Next to the right and left of each jog wheel display is a small gear or cog that opens up several options. First you have all the auto options. Auto match BPM, auto match key, auto sync on play, and auto pitch lock. Next you can pick the pitch sliders range from 6% to 100%. You can set the behavior of both play and cue buttons, and set your jog wheel behavior between full CD or full vinyl modes. The advanced deck controls are very customizable also. The user area in the pro and performance layouts gives you access to many multifunction custom buttons, additional hot cues, save loops, and the time code and line in control and monitors. The FX area lets you set parameters for all of your effects. Loop area gives you access to all your loop tools like adjust, save, and record. Pads gives you adoptional triggers to almost anything, including customizable audio, video, lights, sample, or any other action whatsoever you want to control with your control pads. And finally, there is a tiny dot to the left of the folder area. In there, you will find the option to search for only music files, only video files, only karaoke files, or any combination of the three. It also gives you display options for all your font and spacing needs. You can reset the root folder. You can delete missing files from the database. You can back up your database or restore your database. And finally, Export Browser View lets you create a CSV file of whatever you have in your browser. That could be a playlist, a crate, a history list, or whatever your browser area is currently showing. And there are just some of your drop downs on the default pro and performance skins. If you guys have any ideas about future shows or topics, feel free to drop me a line. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click that bell for reminders. Until next time, this is DJ Michael Joseph saying take care and God bless.